The Barong Performance tells the story of the attempt by Calon Arang, the demon witch queen who represents the Hindu god Kali, to spread her power throughout Bali. The dance opens with the Barong Cat, a powerful Balinese protective spirit. The playful forest monkeys befriend the barong and tease him. A monkey offers the barong a banana, only to fool him. The barong tolerates these pranks, but occasionally administers a rebuke. <laughs> Meanwhile, clowns known as Bondras amuse the audience. They are in the forest gathering nectar for palm wine and have comical encounters with the monkey and a tiger. <laughs> A story from the epic Indian poem The Mahabharata now begins. Two elegant legong dancers represent the servants of the evil queen of the witches, Rangda. They are searching for the servants of the princess Dewi Kunti. <laughs> The servants of Dewi Kunti arrive, planning to meet the Prime Minister of the island. Rangda transforms the servants into layaks or witch demons to serve herself instead. The group meets the Prime Minister and heads out to find Dewi Kunti. They find Dewi Kunti and her son Prince Sahadewa. Dewi Kunti had promised to sacrifice her son to the cannibal Rangda. The merciless Rangda and her witches possess Dewi Kunti and the Prime Minister, causing them to tie Sahadewa to a tree. Rangda celebrates her imminent meal, waving her magical white cloth that she uses to cast spells. However, the god Shiva secretly appears and frees Sahadewa, granting him the power to become the mighty Barong. Yeah. 
When Rangda appears to eat Sahadewa, they fight until Rangda is forced to surrender. Sahadewa sees the magic cloth and kills Rangda, sending her to paradise. A witch named Kalika also wants to enter paradise, but Sahadewa refuses. Kalika attacks his servants, changing herself into a boar, then a vicious bird. But she cannot prevail. Finally, Kalika transforms into Rangda, whom Sahadewa cannot defeat again. To break the stalemate, Sahadewa transforms himself into the Barong. But even so, he cannot defeat Rangda. Barong's followers, the Prime Minister's guards, arrive to help. But Rangda casts a spell, causing them to stab themselves with their own Chris blades. The Barong comes and dispels the enchantment, after which a priest purifies the temple with holy water and incense, and the Chalon Arang is neutralized for the present. But the battle between good and evil is eternal and never resolved.